Newton Woods is a pristine part of nature where some of the best musicians in the world come to play and to teach. You might be surprised to learn that this quiet place is a regular retreat for Chuck Rainey, bass player for Steely Dan and Aretha Franklin, and Steve Bailey, who's toured with Willie Nelson and Dizzy Gillespie. Here you might meet Jeff Coffin, sax player from the Dave Matthews Band, Dennis Chambers, the drummer for Santana, or Joseph Wooten, keyboard player with the Steve Miller Band. You never know who's gonna be teaching or what you might learn at Victor Wooten's Center for Music and Nature. I know that people come here initially because of me. Maybe they're fans of mine. So if I can use my little bit of uh, fame to get people here and so we can offer them something beautiful, great. And people come here and I can tell they're excited to see me and some of the other famous instructors that are here. They're really excited, they want autographs, they want pictures, some of them are afraid to say anything. You know, and we understand that. And now that we've done it for a while, the thing that makes it the most beautiful for me is the fact that I know that's all gonna go away. One, two, three, four. Victor Wooten is the five-time Grammy Award-winning bass player for Bela Fleck and the Fleck Tone. So check this out, if I want to create tension. He's been hosting educational music and nature camps for adults, kids, and families for more than a decade. Today he's joined by professional musicians including Eric Struthers, former guitarist for the Neville Brothers. They're teaching a group of campers some great techniques for performing on stage. I left space and I even cut off the word three. <laughs> Our camp is and has always been and will always be open to everyone. You don't need any advanced music knowledge. But what I do want is an advanced desire to grow, to learn, to share, to explore. That's who we're looking for. I know that there, right now there's no other camps like this one. I'm not saying that we're better, we're different because of our view on music and how it relates to nature and life. The thing you really wanna do during this game is to start to tap into what's working for you. We're not preaching to anyone saying you've got to do this. We give you choices, we show you a lot of choices, but we do seriously raise your awareness to the responsibility that we have to music, to nature, and to each other. We're gonna walk up this trail here. We have a few uh, of our instructors that are nature instructors and musical instructors. And one of them is a woman named Colleen Kotsky. There he goes. Check this out. Check this out, guys. They have little sticky pads. Colleen is a, a brilliantly trained classical pianist. Uh, but we also call her the bird lady because she has studied years of the language of the birds. If you learn robin behavior, wherever you go, you're going to see robins. Bob Heminger is another one, a great saxophone player, but one of my first nature teachers. The first ever outdoor class I took back in 1991, he was a teacher. He helped me make my first fire with sticks. So he's here at the camps teaching music and nature. And you would take this and set it into your teepee fire all ready to go. So we have um, spetzla with rosemary, shiitake, mushrooms, and duck, and brown butter. The food here is not normal camp food. When you get a chance to see John shop in the kitchen, you understand why the food is so good. Because he and his staff, they're in there dancing, the music's playing, it's great music. They're smiling, they're joking. And you know, it's just full of love in the kitchen. And you taste it in the food. Had a dream one night I was talking. I think by the, the grace of God and the grace of our friends, they've made it able for, uh, for us to be able to keep the prices low. We have recently become a non-for-profit. Non so one of the things we do first is figure out what it costs to run this camp and then charge only that. I want to cater to the, the people that aren't so well off but still want to come, right? And we want to make it possible for those people to come. We've never made a dime from running these camps. Um, I've never made a penny from it, right? Not in money, I've made everything in just the spirit of what people 
offer and you know most of this place was built by campers you know so they're totally giving back the campers we met gave the experience good reviews and some like scott here traveled a long way to take it all in it's beautiful i'm from sydney i'm from australia and we got some of the best beautiful places in the world and this is this is phenomenal it's lovely and this camper, Virgil, made it over from Amsterdam just for this unique experience. I can't describe it with words, but it is mind-blowing, and I think that every music musician should be here once in his life or her life. It was Sarah's first time to attend any camp, much less a music camp. And I came to be with my 16-year-old nephew, who's a bass player. We thought that Spirit of Music was an irresistible title for a, for a camp and we wanted to have some good bonding time. So I showed up and walked into an amazing energy. Matt's a musician from Virginia who gets more out of camp than just honing his playing skills. My experience is that as I came here as a musician, as a person, my, my life has changed forever for the better. I, I've, I've learned how to be a better listener in music and in life and I've learned a lot about nature. And I've brought five of my students here. I brought my wife here, I brought my son here. So it has definitely changed my life for the better. And my wife loves it when I come here because she knows I'm gonna come back a better person. Victor Wooten offers seven or eight camps every year. Not only music camps, but also nature camps that are all about animal tracking and discovering exotic plants. To Victor, music and nature go together like lyrics and a melody. Yeah.